Control of borehole direction during drilling can be difficult and costly. Unintentional crooked holes are often drilled in dipping formations. If hole inclination becomes too great, the drill pipe drag becomes excessive and fishing risks are increased. Logging is more difficult and the problems of differential sticking, key seating and fatigue failures may be encountered. Dog legs and key seats are more serious problems than steep inclination angles. Therefore, reducing the rate of direction change is preferred than attempting and maintain absolute vertical holes. Consequently, a straight inclined hole is preferable to a nearly vertical crooked hole containing numerous dog legs. Drilling a 2 degrees nearly vertical spiral hole can cause severe key seating and drill pipe wear, whereas a 3 degrees straight inclined hole with deviation, all in one direction, will not result in serious drilling or production problems. The exact causes of wellbore deviation are unknown. The following are possible contributing factors. Formation type Formation anisotropy Formation dip Bottom hole assembly size, configuration Stabilizer types, size, positioning drill collars Reamers, and other tools Drilling parameters Weight on bit, and hydraulics Let's discuss, wellbore deviation due to formation type Deviations caused by formation anisotropy are separated into two phenomena. An initial deviation is caused by the rock bit interaction. The experimental and theoretical results explain how the gauge length, bit profile, and dip angle can affect the amplitude of this deviation. An isotropic formation theory. Past theoretical studies have assumed that the bit drills in the direction of the resultant force on the bit in uniform or isotropic formations as shown when drilling a uniform formation the force applied in the direction as shown the bit movement is in the straight direction thus bit drill straight but since stratified or anisotropic formations are assumed to possess different drillability under parallel and normal to the banding planes with the result bit does not drill in the direction of the resultant force. Each formation is characterized by its anisotropic index and dip angle. Let's check out an example. As shown, due to change in formation, at formation bending and dip, the applied force is in the direction, as shown, but due to different formation drillability, at bending or due to ledges, in upper section of the wellbore. The direction of force changes, due to drag, as a result, the bit movement direction changes. Let's learn what is formation anisotropy, and formation dip. Anisotropic formations are assumed to possess different drillability, at parallel and normal to the bedding planes. As shown, anisotropic formation having different drillability, in parallel plans. Hard and soft dipping formations. As shown, dipping formation and dip angles can be understood. If a straight horizontal line is drawn on the dipping formation, and if we measure the angle of dip, let's say it reads 30 degrees. To check out dip direction, first let's mark the direction with the help of compass. East, west, northern and south. Formation dip angle is 30 degrees, dip direction is west. Or formation dipping 30 degrees west. Let's learn how formation anisotropy and dip, that causes wellbore deviation. The formation anisotropy modifies the rock bit, and bit string interactions. Those interactions have to be fully understood in order to eliminate the phenomena of tortuosity. To do so, an experimental drilling program has been carried out, on a full-scale bench, using various polycrystalline diamond compact PDC, drilling bits, different gauges, profiles, in different formations, hard, to soft, and soft, to hard, with different interface angles. When a bit drills from a soft to a hard formation, 
the weight on bit is not distributed evenly, along the bottom of the hole. Since more of the weight on bit is taken by the hard formation, the bit keeps on drilling soft formation, and a moment is generated at the bit. Such a moment changes, the pendulum length, to the point of tangency, as well as the side force at the bit. When drilling from hard, to soft formation, since, more of the weight on bit, is taken by the hard formation. The bit keeps on drilling soft formation. And, a moment is generated, at the bit this changes the pendulum length. To the point of tangency, as well as the side force at the bit. This causes the change in wellbore angle. Let's learn how bottom hole assembly, size, configuration, can cause wellbore deviation. Analysis of drill string behavior. Behavior of the drill string plays an important role in hole deviation. A severely buckled string can cause excessively crooked holes, even in homogeneous formations. And use of stabilizers and application of packed hole techniques have shown that the hoe deviation becomes less severe when attention is given to drilly string design. Drill string is a flexible, elastic member, unable to resist lateral loads, and subject to buckling under axial loads. The shape of this buckling depends on how much weight is applied at the bit and formation type. Let's understand how weight on bit causes string buckling. If weight on bit is increased, this causes string buckling. Once buckling occurs, the bit is no longer vertical and results in hole deviation. There are three basic techniques for controlling wellbore deviation. One, tangential length is the length measured from bit to the point where drill collar touches the wellbore. If the tangential length is increased, this will decreases the bit angle and a results bit drills in straight well. Tangential length can be increased using a pendulum assembly consisting of the bit, drill collars, and strategically positioned stabilizers to decrease hole angle or straighten the hole. As shown, when using pendulum assembly, even under higher weight on bit, drill string angles are very less. This allows us to drill with higher weight on hard formation to achieve greater ROP. 2. Using packed hole assemblies consisting of reamers, short collars, and stabilizers, or square drill collars, to lock in the bit and maintain a constant hole angle. Disadvantage of using packed assembly, if well has sharp dog legs then this assembly is difficult to pull out. 3. Using directional drilling tools, such as downhole motors, with bent housings. Thanks for watching. See you soon with some other drilling or well control topic. If you want us include any topic on drilling or well control, please message in the comment box. Also do let us know how do you like this video. Thanks.